Here I have Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 and let me show you how to perform here bypassing Google verification on the following device. So what's really important, you need to check out your current Android version, your security patch level and other stuff. So it's good to enter the recovery mode right now. Let me show you how to do it. Let's simply press power key, choose here power off and touch power off again just to confirm the operation. Then let's use the following combination of keys, power key, home button and volume up. Hold down together those two keys and release them as soon as Samsung Galaxy A5 logo pops up on the screen. Let's wait for the Android system recovery. The no command pops up. So now you can try to press power key and while holding power press volume up once. And here we've got Android system recovery. As you can see here we've got the following firmware version. So in my case it's U8 with SB5 version. So it's important to have the U8 version right here. Here we've got the U8 version and you need to have the firmware with SB1 version. So you can't have a newer version. In my case it's SB5 so it's not good version for this operation. So now you need to simply flash the device. You need to downgrade the system to SB1. So let me do it. Let's simply here put the device into a download mode so let's select here power off press power key to confirm it and then let's use the following combination of keys power key home button and volume down let's hold down together those two keys the warning pops up press volume up to continue and you are now in a download mode so now your phone is ready to flash but now we need to also download the firmware so we prepared the firmware with no carrier, this is the firmware with SB1 version, so you can flash it. This is the firmware for Galaxy A5 2017. The firmware is right here in that link that in the tutorial. You can also find the following link in the description. Let's simply use the Mega Upload and let's use the download button. I've got my firmware downloaded. And you can also open the following section, firmware change and update. And here you can also use and use those two links, Odin software. Let's just simply find Odin and here let's download the latest version of the Odin. I've got my Odin downloaded as well. And now you can simply start to flash your device. So let me do it. As you can see here, we've got my firmware you need to of course unpack the firmware and here I've got my Odin app so let's just open the Odin here I have Odin let's use right click and run as administrator tab ok alright now you can flash your device so let me do it Let's use options, make sure that you've got auto reboot and factory reset time selected. And now let's choose BL file. So let me choose my file BL. All right. Now it's time to use AP file. So let me do it. All right, let's use CP file and CSC. So let me find CSC. This is the CSC file. And now you need to connect your device with some cables. So here I have my USB-C cable. Simply connect the device with your PC. All right. And let's use here the start button. Let's just start. The device is flashing. 
So let's wait until the flash will be completed. Alright, as you can see the flash is completed, you can simply disconnect your device and let's wait a few seconds. Compile pops up now. Let me check out the version. So let's press power key, choose power off, touch power off again, and then let's simply use the following combination of keys power key, home button, and volume up. So let me use together those two keys. Let's enter the recovery mode, keep holding those three keys until the Samsung Galaxy A5 logo pops up. Let's press power key and while holding power key press volume up again. And as you can see right now, I've got U8 version and I've got the SB1. So that's what I need to have, SB1. So let's choose power key to reboot system now. Now you can go next. All right, so now let's go here next. Tap start. Tab OK, let's connect the device to some Wi-Fi. Choose next if you've got your Wi-Fi connection. Here, let me tap agree to all. The phone is checking for updates. Alright, as you can see, the verify your account pops up, so let me show you how to proceed now. Let's simply go back. Here, let's choose learn more under the license and agreement, so let's tap learn more. Let's choose here as voice. Here we've got some terms and conditions under the as voice, let's scroll down and use that link. Alright, let's scroll down. To the bottom of the list. Here, let me just choose English. And let's choose here contact us right here. 
At the bottom you should have contact us, let's tap it. Then let's scroll down again and choose here sign in. And here we need to choose sign up here. So let me do it. Let's tap sign up here. From the following options, let's agree to all of them. So let me tap this button, tap agree. Then scroll down. And here you should find the tiny privacy link under recap channel let's try to tap on the privacy right here all right now let's use this google icon and now you can use the google so let's here type in the following phrase hard reset dot info YouTube. All right, let's choose hard reset.info YouTube. Let's click on this channel right here. Choose more key, tap here, sign in. And here we need to sign in into some Google account. It could be any Google account, even the new one. So let me just do it. All right, let me tap next. It's time to enter the password right now. So let's choose next right here. Tap here more menu again and let's choose desktop. Let's here use the following menu icon and from the following options choose here the browse channels right here. Here let's swipe to the left and choose mobile YouTube right here. Choose here not now and now let's use the more key select here the settings from the following options let's choose about and here let's choose Google privacy policy And here, let's simply write here in that address the hard reset.info. Hard reset.info. Here I have hard reset.info. Let's just click on this link. Use the menu key. Tap download. Let's here use the following phrase Android 8. Tab search. Let's scroll down, choose this app, Google Account Protection Bypass in Android 8. Let's tap it, tap download. Scroll down, choose download again. Tap save. Tap open file. Choose settings. 
let's allow from this source let's go back tab install all right let's choose here open let me select open choose google account manager ap key for version 6.0 right here tap here settings now let's allow from this source let's go back tap install all right so let's here choose done tap bypass frp choose browser sign in method use more key in that corner and tap browser sign in again tap ok now you can sign in into some google account so that's what we need to do we need to add some google account not connected to this device it could be any google account even a new one just the google account that you know the email and password so let me do it let's enter here hard reset dot info in my case just let me enter my email tap next and now it's time to enter the password all right choose here sign in And that's it, the FRP bypass pops up, so let's here press power key, choose restart, tap restart again. Alright, let's go next right here, tap start, tap OK. Tap next, let's here tap next again, tap agree. As you can see account added, so it's a good sign the account that you had previously in that process is added. Let's tap here next. All right, let me tap don't restore. Let me choose no thank you to the following protection, tap skip, skip anyway, tap more and more and accept the Google services. Let me just quickly activate the device. Let me skip the Samsung account, tap skip, tap finish and the home screen should pop up in a moment. All right, here we've got the all done information, the home screen pops up, but to fully erase the FRP, you need to perform the hard reset by using settings. So let's enable the list of all apps, choose settings, scroll down, select here general management, choose reset and select factory data reset. Here let's scroll down, tab reset and choose delete all. Let's wait until the operation will be completed, then you will be able to use your device. Alright, the welcome panel pops up, so let me just try to activate the device, tap next, here let me even skip the Wi-Fi connection, let me here agree to the following license, tap agree.
tap next, next, choose no thanks, skip, skip anyway. Let me tap more and accept to Google services. Here let's tap skip the Samsung account, tap finish and as you can see you just activate your device without the Google account so you just accomplish the unlocking of RP. So thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel, leave thumbs up under the video.